The victims' advocates that we spoke to today say close friends and family have the greatest responsibility when it comes to helping a victim heal, but they say the community also plays a large role, a larger role than most might think. Nathaniel Kibbe has been charged with 205 counts for kidnapping, torturing, and sexually assaulting a young girl. Investigators say the teen from North Conway was taken while walking home from school in October 2013. She was held for nine months, and now she's back home trying to heal. We are so grateful that this young victim was returned to her family and to her community. And it puts the family and the community and the media in a unique place in terms of responding to her now. Lynn Cholette is the executive director of the New Hampshire Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence. She says one of the best things the public can do is protect a victim's identity and give them privacy. Let the survivor decide whether she wants to reach out, be public, talk about what happened, or move on and have a sort of ordinary routine life. Really, what's most important is that those decisions are left up to her. The horrifying details described in the indictments have been put before the public. Linda Douglas, a victim's advocate, tells us it's important that the public not judge or blame the victim. She says it could make the difference between her healing or not. For someone who's experienced something this horrific, they lost a piece of their own ability to have charge and control of their life, and they're looking to have it again. And the community has the ability to help her and any potential victim move forward. There are plenty of people who have been through significantly horrific traumas who managed to come out of it and not only survive it, but they managed to thrive and do very, very well. Both Linda and Lynn say they hope victims realize there's help 24-7 by picking up the phone and calling a hotline here in the state. That number is listed on our website, WMUR.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.